I'm here with Jake. We're gonna show a move from the guillotine, right? A move from the close guard. I'm here. The guy's posturing right. I'm gonna almost like pray here to open my arms, and I'm gonna go straight here to the kimura. But the problem is that sometimes, you know, I can't get the kimura too well because I can't lock my arm. He's already defending. So I'm gonna switch my hand to to go inside his neck here. You see, as I'm going inside his neck, I'm gonna kick my hip to the other side so I can lock my hand. You see, I'm locking my hand here. So I'm grabbing like this, you see? My hand that is here is gonna go with the thumb down and I'm gonna grab my, my own hand. So I grab my hand and I can hip skate back, right, and start to choke. So, one more time, I'm here. I pray, open, I go here, but the guy start putting his weight and I can lock too well the, the Kimura here. So I'm gonna start rotating here. As I get there, I'm gonna skate my hip to the other side and lock my hand. Then I skate back as I'm straightening my legs and I'm putting the pressure here so he can tap. Sometimes when the guy gets here from here, the guy starts to stand up on his tiptoes and start putting the pressure, right? And then the guillotine can have the same pressure. So, uh, what, what would you do from there? Yeah, I was going to show what I like to do. This is actually, uh, this is a move I like. I do the guillotine. You know, a lot of our top guys like him are going to push into these. You know, it shuts down my shoulder. And I can't choke him. So I'm trying to choke him. All this weight comes into me. So I'm here. I open my guard up. And I'm going to scoot it away. And I get my hips away from it. Create space. As soon as I scoot my hips away, this foot comes inside right here, his leg. Now, it's really important that I keep trying to choke him. Because I'm not trying to choke him. Wait, I'm trying to choke him. Keep pushing into me. Now, I elevate the foot. I take it to the knee. It's more close. So, I'm here. I come around. And straight him out. From here, I post. I cross my feet. I hit forward. I look up. And arch. And if I sometimes, if his head slips out, it's no big deal. I still don't know. So, I'll show that again. Okay, this is one of my favorite things to do on the guillotine. I'm going to jump to the guillotine, or however I end up getting there, however he shows the to get there. But I'm choking him. He puts so much pressure. So he's putting the shoulder into my chest. It's causing it so I can't finish the submission. But it's also causing it he's on his toes. So I open up, and I scoot out, and I feed this leg inside. I'm going to elevate him at an angle. You have to keep trying to choke him. If I stop trying to choke him, he's going to drop his weight down. See? No, it's nothing. So I just keep it trying to choke him, which keeps him on his toes. And now I elevate. Post, come around, I look up, cross my feet, and arch. If his head flips out, no big deal, I just come and start tapping the arm or whatever you want to tap.